Om Shanti and welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 5th of August called the Blessing. It rained heavily today and I was just thinking about it yesterday and I was just contemplating and I was wishing for a heavy rain so that this place known as Delhi or especially Dwarka becomes more cooler. So let's see what does God have to say in today's blessing with this beautiful weather around us. God says, may you sacrifice even the slightest trace of body consciousness and become exceedingly strong. So how do we become stronger? By removing body consciousness. Body consciousness means thinking about the body and having all the energies flow into the body. And when we are thinking about the physical aspects of life, then everything becomes very difficult. Starting from time, everything is racing, money, racing, wealth, racing, physical health, competition, comparison, racing. We are into a consciousness of physicality when comparing and competing with the world around us. And God wants us to go beyond that. He wants us to take care of the non-physical first, the aspect of the soul, so that the physical aspect is automatically taken care of. So God says the biggest weakness is body consciousness. Because of which what happens? We have thoughts of ego, jealousy, confrontation, conflicts, my way, the highways, and mine. And that is one very big thing. Mine or my. So that is where we don't even come to know when we are trying to put the other person down by saying that this is mine, this is my place, this is my house, or this is my method, or this is my thinking, and we try to prove the other person wrong. And that's where the body consciousness comes. So God says the subtle progeny of body consciousness is very big. That progeny is very, very big, actually, if you think about it. It's very, very subtle. We don't even know when we are in body consciousness. If you're thinking and if you're comparing, if you're worrying about something, you are in body consciousness. So God says that you cannot be happy by being in body consciousness and the only method is to become soul conscious. So to sacrifice body consciousness means to surrender the slightest trace, which is also known as ansh, and also its progeny. That is known as Vansh. Only those who make such a sacrifice become exceedingly strong. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically and in many other ways. If you have kept the slightest trace of body consciousness hidden anywhere. Even fear is body consciousness. And the fear comes because of past thinking. Going into the past thinking how I feel badly, how miserable I was. And how I did not do right or how people will judge me or they judged me. And that is all our own creation. And body consciousness is the only thing which is creating all those impure thoughts. So if you have, the, if you have kept the slightest trace of body consciousness hidden anywhere, if you consider this consciousness to be self-respect, then although you may be able to see some temporary victory, that I proved something right, they listened to me because I was in this position and chair. I was the owner of this place or it was my idea. I was an elder person and they better listen to me. A slight trace of body consciousness? No, a higher trace of body consciousness. And they will adhere to you. They will listen to you. And there will be a short victory in that. But in the long term, we have already lost. We have lost self-respect, self-value. And we also lost the respect in other people's eyes. So God says it would be defeat in the long term. In the short term, we might be able to get the things done. We might be able to ask the people to follow us, to do what we tell them to do, to work along, to act the way we want, we want them to act. But they will come back to their script. Because every soul has brought their own script on this world. So forcefully you can ask them to play some other script. But they will come back to their original script. And when they do that, they will come back to the disturbance. And that disturbance will be felt by whom? By us. Because we send that disturbance to them. We ask them to change their physiology, biology, their mentality, their emotionality by force. And we send a vibration of force. And force vibration is faster. And when they are vibrating, when they want to come back to a normal state, they will send that out. Because that uneases there within them. And they want to send it out back to us and then they are going to be lighter. So God says, leave body consciousness, the trace of body consciousness become lighter and then enjoy the real success. 
more about it when you do the seven day course and more depth about it when you do the seven day course and understand this complete understanding of soul consciousness so this is soulology soul consciousness this is solely conscious or spiritually conscious whatsoever you want to call it and it is not body conscious so let's go ahead and now we're going to do the recording of the hindi one with the som shanti